Okay, entertainment, £565 this week. Oh, shit. Oh, good morning. Oh, man, I feel like death. Okay, so, my voice is gone. That is probably the consequence of this video, this entire week. But, I've been looking online and I've seen so, so many videos. Waking up at 5am, like Casey Neistat. Day in the life of Casey Neistat. Shut up about Casey Neistat. Everyone's video is about waking up at 5am, how productive they can be. And it's just like, yeah, great, you've been productive, but have you had a good time? The answer is no. So, Jacob's video, even though it sounds like an absolute douchebag, this is going to be waking up. No, it's not. It's going to be going to bed at 5 a.m. every day for a week. Let's get to it. All right, then. So, starting off, Monday, uni, 10 a.m. Spoons, 5 p.m. Do you want to go to um, the courtyard for one? Two. Drunk, 7 p.m. I'm already hungover. I found a hack, like a scam with weather spoons, where if you order a double vodka monster, they give you two double vodka monsters for four pound. So I bought seven and I am not good. Factory till four. Go to Mackey's, get an Uber, back in bed for five. Tuesday, wake up at 1 p.m. Uni at 1.30 p.m., spoons at seven. Fifth till 3 a.m. and then back to a girl's flat. You eventually go to bed at five. What's this? What's this? Wednesday, I had a nosebleed at 3 p.m. It woke me up. Hippo documentary at 4 p.m. I realized what I'd done the night before. I've made a severe <laughs> and continuous lapse in my judgment. So back to spoons for 9 p.m. Hit up Ark with the lads and then back to the girls' flat for 5 a.m. I would prefer the bathtub. Thursday, wake up for 12. Uni at 10 a.m., I, I kind of missed it. Student union for 8 p.m., and then grab Tilly, and then go to factory till 4 a.m. We went to Mackey's. Matilda, slow down! It is a five miles per hour zone. Walked home, in bed for five. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Friday, wake up for 1 p.m., shotgun a beer, film a video, get it edited. Quite a productive day. Then we went back to factory for round two, and I uh, went back to the girls' flat for five. Quite a good night. Saturday, we went for pre-drinks at Matt's flat. Shout out to Matt, he's got a YouTube channel out. I'll leave it below, go check him out, he's a hilarious guy. But he played me a few songs in his guitar and his roommate, Matus, was just banging on the fridge. Proper funny time. That was around 8 p.m., hit up Spoons for nine. Great time at Birdcage. Met some Israeli fans uh, and then stumbled home and made a website at 5 a.m. That website is absolutely trolley.co.uk. It was absolutely trolleyed. I was trolleyed as I made it. Put the domain name absolutely trolley.co.uk into your search bar. Click the link below. Go check out the website. It is just a bit of a mess about at the moment. Um, it, I will make a full video about the website very soon when my voice comes back, a bit more professional video. Um, but yeah, most of it was made completely you know, pissed. Um, I need to do a lot of spelling mistake errors. Um, I put the website Earl as the wrong thing at the start. Oh, I was very, very drunk. Things I've learned from going out every single night for a week. I'm not trying to sound cool, it was just an experiment. Um, use Monzo. If you're gonna go to town, use Monzo. Use my link in the description as always. You get five pound, I get five pound. So far, I've referred 50 people to Monzo and that has been paying for my nights out, so. Thank you guys so much, you have funded this video. So, uh, yeah, use Monzo. Okay, entertainment, £565 this week. Oh, shit. Transport, we've spent £72 this week, so we need to do £72. Let's do, let's do the maths here. Um, calculator. Okay, so Monzo told me that I spent £72 on... On transport, so that's like Ubers, buses, 
that's quite a lot of money, but I went to a lot of flats, so it makes perfect sense. Makes perfect sense. 688. Now I can minus around half of that for part life. So part life was 369. So minus 370 equals, and then minus the 60 quid for the website. We only spent 258 quid, which for an entire week of going out is a banger for me. I don't know how I've managed that. Monzo can help you work out exactly how much you've spent, so that's awesome. So far in February, I've, I don't even want to go into how much I've spent, so it's been three days. Um, but yeah, my voice is completely gone. But no, drink water whenever you can. Get a Huel shaker, shout out to Huel. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> oh, my voice is better. No, it's not. Cool. Buy vodka and Red Bull. If you go onto our website, we now have Amazon sponsored adverts on there, which is pretty cool. Um, where are we at? Where are we talking? Yeah, at the bottom here, we've got a Smirnoff vodka and Red Bull. So if you buy it from the website, we actually get some money for it. So that'd be awesome if you could do that for us. If you're going to be buying it anyway, you might as well buy it from us. That's awesome. Um, Red Bull and vodka, you know, you get a lot of energy. I made a whole video yesterday about it being vodka and Red Bull in a can. Apparently, that already exists in a bottle in uh, abroad, but, you know, I'm only ever going to go there when I get pissed, so. That's a good thing. I didn't go abroad. You know, I stayed in the country. I think that's probably because Matt didn't come out. If Matt was out, I probably would have ended up somewhere else cool, so. Things you shouldn't do. Uh, don't stare at people for a long amount of time. Or a short amount of time. It's, it's bloody complicated. If you look at someone like that and then look away straight away, they think you're on something. Like a bouncer will come over and start like pushing his chest against you and you just gotta be like, mate, I am perfectly fine, I'm just trolleyed. Um, if you stare at a guy for too long, he thinks you want a scrap. Yesterday, this guy came over at Birdcage, getting his coat off. We were at a table, we got a table, sat at this table with a booth and that, and a bottle of champagne, it was shit champagne, I don't know what the thing is. He comes over and he looks at us, I'm like, this guy wants a bit of trouble. And he's like, they're my coats. And I was thinking, I don't think that's your coat, mate, because my mate Harry had a coat on, he took it off. And I was like, that's not your coat. So I was looking at him for ages, thinking, that's not your coat. And he was like, he's like, what's up? I was like, that's not your coat. And he's like, nah, do you, you have a problem? And I was like, nah, it's just not your coat. <laughs> Guys get so angry and think they're fucking 10 men because they're at a drink or something like that. If you look at girls for too long, they think you like you. They think they like, they think you like them, so they come over. Last night, there was fucking, this little girl. She was beautiful, don't get me wrong, she was well nice, but I'm not interested in all that. And I'm just, I was just looking, because I thought I knew her, and she just comes over, and then I'm like, fuck's sake. Keisha's like, I think this one likes you. I'm like, you know I'm not interested, like, come on. Um, so Keys explained that I had a girlfriend, even though I don't, um, and sorted me out. So I got away with that. That was pretty fun. Don't buy people drinks. Um, when we went out on, uh, I don't know what day it was, oh, we went to the factory and Tilly wanted to buy everyone drinks. I was like, Tilly, you cannot afford to pay for all these drinks. Um, so like, yeah, don't buy people drinks. Unless it's like your girl or you're with your mates doing rounds, don't buy people drinks. I've made that mistake far too many times. I walk into a club, I say 10, and then I end up giving them away. You're like, no, you want to drink them all, you know what I mean? They're your drinks, so. Don't waste money on other people, unless it's your girl, or your friends. Um, and don't ever believe the before 12 deals. No club gives you any deals for entering before 12. And if they do, they'll make you wait outside till past 12. Last night we got to Birdcage at like 5 to 12. We had enough time to run in, buy 20 drinks for the half price. But no, they made, they made his way outside till 12, little bastards. Final point of this video, um, take every opportunity that comes to you. Literally, this entire week, people have just been, apart from like, when I've been going out with a girl, I've asked them to go out. When my mates message me saying, you out tonight, normally I'd be like, oh, maybe not. But this year, 2019, I've just been saying yes to everything and it's costing me a fucking fortune, but I've been having such a good time. Like literally, I can look at my Snapchat memories and just think, I I've had a, I've had a class night, you know what I mean? So, take every opportunity, you don't know how much fun you can actually have. Um, if your mates message you tonight saying, do you want to go for a pint? Go for a pint. You'll end up in a different country. So, uh, that is it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you can relate or you enjoyed the, the thought, the process, the Snapchats, anything like that, add my Snapchat below, leave a like, share this video, and subscribe with notifications on because None of my subscribers actually have notifications on, which is why 2% of my subscribers actually get videos in their feed. So, awesome. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Let's go to a club. No, no. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.
bye.